Yo guys, Ginger Gamer Guy here, and today I'm going to be listing my top 5 video games. These games mean a lot to me, whether it's for symbolic reasons, or just the game itself. And yes, there will be many spoilers for these games, so you have been warned. Alright, let's get into it. At number 5 we have Call of Duty Black Ops 2. This actually wasn't my uh, first uh, Call of Duty game, but it's one that shaped my love for COD. I remember always hopping on this game on my Xbox 360 and grinding the hell out of it. I got my first ever gold gun on this game, and I've met tons of friends. I love the campaign, which is a continue of BO1 with Alex Mason and his son David Mason, and it brings back old characters, it's really cool. And the zombies, Mob of the Dead, as you may know, is my favorite map. The multiplayer was awesome too. I That was the first ever COD game where I really got into the multiplayer. And, you know, that's why this uh, comes in at number 5. So number four, we have Majora's Mask. I do love a good Zelda game, but yeah, my favorite has to be Majora's Mask. Nintendo made a bold move with this game. It's not a happy fun time like other Nintendo games. This one's actually very sad and depressing. MatPat from Game Theory made an awesome theory on this game. Part of it, of the theory or whatever, how everyone's in denial and how they're inev an inevitable death is coming by the moon crashing into the world of Termina. I do like the masks, that's like everybody's favorite part, and the three day mechanic with the moon and skull kid and everything. Also the side, the side quests are the best in probably the whole series, I love them, so this is why this comes at number 4. I never really played the first Red Dead, but when I saw the trailers and gameplay for this game, I knew I had to get it. This game has so much detail, and sometimes overwhelming, it's sometimes really overwhelming. I could literally make a game, or a, not a game, a video of this game on how to take care and manage your horse. That's how in-depth this game is. But do not get me wrong, this is one of the best stories in a video game ever. By the way, this is where the spoilers start. You've been warned, again. When I took the role of Arthur Morgan, I wasn't really connected to him, but at the end, I was extremely sad to see him go. Like, come on, dude. And when you're in one of the endings, when you're running, and your horse gets shot, that actually, like, I literally actually almost cried at that game. But, yeah, um, there are two endings. One is far superior than the other, but I'm not gonna say which one, uh, because if you're still watching this and you haven't finished it, uh, I don't know why you wouldn't be, but I'm gonna, yeah, tell me which ending you got if you played this game. I, I think I got the good one, but, you know, it's, it's a matter of opinion. This literally changed the way I do look at video games. Like, seriously, some are just truly a work of art. Bioshock is insane. I know I said Red Dead 2 is a great story, but Bioshock has a better one in my opinion. Literally the first two seconds I was hooked with the plane crash and getting in the bathosphere and going down the Rapture. Rapture is a crazy, messed up Atlantis like Lutopia gone horribly wrong. When I, for when I first heard the voice of Atlas after watching a guy get brutally murdered by a splicer, I know I was in for a, a wild ride. This game is really smart, and I never saw the twist coming. Also, oh, spoilers. When Alice would say, would you kindly? It would trigger me to do something that he said. Like I was a slave. Like Andrew Ryan said, a man chooses, a slave obeys. 
This game will go down in history for me. One of the best story games I've ever played in my life. Mega Man 3 is the most important video game in my life, and that's why it's at number 1. I used to play this game with my dad all the time, and trying over and over and over to beat one boss. And one Christmas we did, and that's what I remember most about that Christmas. Not the gifts, I mean the gifts are great, but that memory of us doing that. I used to collect all the toys, watch the show, and I do, hell, I really, I do. I have a Mega Buster, this little gun thing, a real life one, in my room. That's why this game is my favorite, and I'll never stop loving him. So, yeah, Mega Man 3, my favorite game of all time. So that's it. Thank you all for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Tell me your favorite games in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.